doctor who worked with some of America's top gymnasts is behind bars this morning, a day after a judge ordered him to stand trial. He's accused of sexually abusing a young family friend for years, and now many gymnasts are saying they were victims too. NBC's Stephanie Gosk has the latest. Larry Nasser, the former head doctor for USA Gymnastics, who treated some of the most famous Olympic gymnasts in recent history, faced just one of more than 60 women who have come forward in the last year to accuse him of sexual abuse. Did it happen more than once? Yes. More than twice? More than twice. Um, more than three times? Yes. Nasser, who also practiced medicine at Michigan State, pled not guilty to sexually abusing the woman in his own home, beginning when she was just six years old. I would say almost every time I was there for a couple years, okay. something occurred. Nasser also pled not guilty to federal charges of possessing pornography, including 30,000 images and GoPro video. But the charges may not stop there. The Wall Street Journal reports that the FBI conducted interviews with gymnasts from the gold medal winning London and Rio Olympic teams to see if they could supply information to help with the investigation. Dozens of athletes from Michigan State and the U.S. National Gymnastics team have come forward to accuse Nasser of sexually assaulting them during treatment. Some of the gymnasts spoke with 60 Minutes. USA Gymnastics suggested that I go to the Caroli Ranch to work with their doctor. He started massaging me, and um, he had asked me not to wear any underwear. And then he just continued to go into more and more intimate places. The Caroli Ranch belongs to famed coaches Marta and Bella Caroli, who are also named in a separate lawsuit, alleging they created a toxic environment that allowed Nasser's abuse to happen. Lawyers for the Caroli say their clients are devastated by the accusations and deny them, and they knew nothing about the complaints against Nasser until USA Gymnastics fired him in 2015. Dr. Nasser's lawyers insist any allegations that his medical practices were performed for any purpose other than proper medical treatment are patently false and untrue. Larry Nasser remains locked up without bail, while one of the country's most beloved Olympic sports is rocked to its core. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News, New York.